Tonight, more than 20 years after one of the most gruesome hate crimes in this country, the ringleader in the dragging death of James Byrd Jr. has been executed. John William King, convicted in Byrd's murder after his death in 1998. Our Sophia Beausoleil was in Huntsville for the execution of John William King and tells us what happened. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice says it took 12 minutes from the time the order was given for the lethal injection to the time that John King was pronounced dead. The family of James Byrd Jr. says tonight justice was served. James Byrd Jr. would have been 70 this year, but his life was cut short 21 years ago in a brutal hate crime. Today, we witnessed the peaceful and dignified execution of John King for the savage, brutal, an inhumane murder of James on June 7, 1988 really a modern day lynching. James Byrd Jr. was chained to the back of a pickup truck and dragged for three miles along a road in Jasper, Texas. John William King, an admitted racist, was the ringleader. Lawrence Brewer and Sean Allen Berry were also convicted of Byrd's murder. Brewer was executed in 2011 and Allen Berry was sentenced to life in prison. The state of Texas executed King Wednesday in Huntsville. He was pronounced dead at 7.08 p.m. And before the lethal injection, the warden asked if he had a final statement. He didn't say much. This evening, he responded simply with the words no, did not open his eyes at any point during the process, took one deep breath, one exhale, and that was the extent. But the state says King did leave a written statement which said capital punishment. Them without the capital get the punishment. Two sisters and a niece of James Byrd watched the execution. His older sister says she felt nothing but is happy that this part is over. No remorse was shown then. It's indicative of how embedded his hate was and how proud he was of what he had, what he had done. No remorse whatsoever. The family says they want Bird's legacy to be one of peace and nonviolence. They encourage others to meet people who look different than them to help overcome racial prejudice. Reporting from Huntsville, Sophia Beausoleil, KPRC, Channel 2 News.